Hundreds of thousands of dollars of marijuana, or rather hundreds of thousands of marijuana convictions could be expunged under Illinois' new state law. But CBS 2's Vince Girasoli found out it's not quite that simple or fast. How many minor marijuana violations could be cleared away almost automatically? The number is large, an estimated 700,000 statewide. But this is important. Automatic is not when the law kicks in. It's when a case is identified and processed. And both the state and Cook County are going about that differently. Each start with the Illinois State Police, with officers reviewing databases for eligible cases individually. To date, the tedious process totals only 116,000. In the end, state police and local law enforcement will be responsible for dedicating personnel to wiping away the records. Your automatic expungement doesn't have to be approved until January of 2021 if it dates as far back as 2013. A low level marijuana conviction does not mean that someone is a threat to public safety. In August, state's attorney Kim Fox outlined Cook County's process, starting again with state police. But the nonprofit Code for America is using volunteers and special software to help more quickly identify cases. Following a judge's approval, local law enforcement or the state police must actually clear the record. We've had to do it on a case by case basis. And that was labor intensive and came at a price, says Ashley Kilroy, executive director of Denver's Office of Marijuana Policy. We've had to, uh, you know, incur additional cost. Unlike Illinois, Colorado's 2014 legalization didn't provide automatic expungement. She warns Illinois will still need to budget for locating those with expunged records. You need to make sure you notify the individual to let them know that this conviction has been vacated. Cases of marijuana possession of less than 30 grams qualify for automatic expungement as long as they aren't associated with violent crimes. But several police sources told us today the manpower needed to follow through with reviewing records will be a challenge. In the newsroom, Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News. All right, thank you, Vince.